Welcome to Tokyosaurus. Today we have another Japanese character origin video, which will go into depth to see where their design inspiration comes from, as well as to give you a better background of what the original character is all about. So today we'll be talking about Shogun Waitington from Yokai Watch. Shogun Waitington is a human character who appeared in the Yokai Watch anime in episode 47 and in Yokai Watch 2 Shin Uchi, which is not the Yokai Watch 2 released around the world. It's like a third version of Yokai Watch 2 that was released months after the initial release that had more content, only in Japan. So most of you will see him in the anime instead. Shogun Waitington's partner, No Nutton, is actually the past form of Whisper from the Sengoku period. Even though No Nutton actually knows nothing and just pretends to know everything, Waitington was able to build his reputation and successfully win battles with No Nutton's tactics. And for some odd reasons, he also resembles Nate in his hair color as well as the spiky hair. I wouldn't be surprised if Shogun Waitington is actually an ancestor of Nate's. And if not, he was certainly passed for an older version of him. So it turns out, Shogun Waitington's Japanese name is the name of a famous Japanese samurai and military commander of the late Sengoku period by the name of Ishida Mitsunari. Mitsunari started by serving the feudal lord Hideyoshi of Nagahama, and eventually became known for his talented management of financials. He was soon appointed to be one of the top administrators in the Hideyoshi government, and was eventually made a feudal lord himself. After he was made a feudal lord of Sawayama, he built one of the best fortified castles for that time and was known to be impenetrable. He was a rigid man and had bad relations with other feudal lords that were known for their fighting skills, because his strength wasn't so much in his solo fighting skills, but in his strategies and management of soldiers. When Hideyoshi died, the top administrators of the government started to fight for top spot, and that was when his true colors came to light. After getting the support of three other top administrators, he began to challenge the most powerful of all the administrators, Ieyasu. He started with taking hostages of the wives of government officials that supported Ieyasu, and even attempted to assassinate Ieyasu himself. But even with all his underhanded efforts, he was later defeated by Ieyasu's forces in battle, which allowed the Tokugawa family to become the undisputed rulers of Japan for over 250 years. So history paints him in a bit of a negative light sometimes, when they compare him with other generals. But in popular culture, he's seen more of a warrior that was loyal to Hideyoshi rather than a strategist. He's even a playable character in Pokemon Conquest. So his name is quite well known in Japan. In Yokai Watch though, spoiler warning for those of you who didn't watch this yet. They replayed the Battle of Sekigahara, in which Waitington's armies were betrayed by another general. During the losing battle, No Nutton confesses that he is in fact not a Yokai tactician but just a yokai that just pretends to know everything instead, and told Waitington that his victories were thanks to his own good fortunes. Waitington doesn't wince for one second and tells Whisper that nothing has changed, and that he will fight to the end to engrave his family's determination in history. Before he parts away with No Nun for the last time, he says to No Nun that while he wasn't able to see No Nun's form, he can picture a slippery shape in his head. Waitington then goes into battle and dies fighting. Quite a heroic way to go as opposed to the way real history has it recorded, but it seems like a lot of pop culture likes to paint him as an incorruptible character rather than a person of treacherous schemes. Shogun Waitington is definitely different than the real Ishida Mitsunari, so it was very surprising to see Waitington be such a good guy. But what did you think of Shogun Waitington's real story? As usual, let me know in the comments below. Follow Tokyo Source on Twitter and Facebook for updates on our newest videos and Japan related tweets. Like the video if you want more like this and subscribe so you can get the latest videos right in your inbox. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.